that sweet PlayStation 2 logo, but you know, it's not fucking happening. Yeah, uh, I guess Happy Easter or something. Or whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tree almost hit my car yesterday. Or last night. If it were God, he'd have better aim. Budweiser's probably like spiked with, you know, butane fumes or something. I don't know. That's probably just nothing. Man, let's get this hair out of the beer, though. That's definitely there. This light's gonna like flicker on and off every time I set this beer over there because it's a piece of shit. Anyways. Got a controller. Hey. My brain cells don't feel like they're rot, like they're fine. I don't know. <laughs> Not butane, just beer. Speak too soon. Nah, uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's surface survive. All right. Oh, 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 oh the shit. Yeah, that's where. That's this is where we were. Uh. All right. Satisfying when you hear it. So like you like eat pills, like, <laughs> like you fucking just like took like fucking like ten thousand of them at once. I found Morte's room. Uh, oh shit! Ah, I forgot about that piece of crap. Fucking Looney Tunes. Morte received a letter. Looney Tunes horse shit. It turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Val here. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. 
was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw up. The Buccinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. What the fuck? Oh, oh I got it. Um, yeah, he's got like this Looney Tunes setup going on. Yeah, fuck, I gotta like, pick it up. Yeah, like I yeah, the Looney Tunes setup. Lapino, yeah, spooky. Jack Lapino, yeah, spooky. sound, what do you call it, uh, capturing, oh shit, that's right, I forget. Yeah, that's, hey. yeah see, that's puzzle, that's, you, that's puzzle damn. side. Man. I thought it was a bomb for sure. Nah, the Russian wouldn't dare. This has been waiting to happen. <laughs> I thought it was a bomb. Hold it. Hold it. Dude, just ready to react like like, like just instant. Alright. I thought it was a bam! Hold it! There's something to be said about like listening to junkies die. talk about things. It's pretty f like if you ever done it, it's, it's it'd be pretty funny, or at least interesting. I'm gonna get some ice for this, like so. I think I died. Think I'm dead. The flash. The flash. I think I died. Think I'm dead. Yeah, that was 
he's educated you on some stuff, you'd probably learn a lot. Or something. Yeah, uh, so. Some dirty ice. And my dirty beer. Uh, and we got some elegant, very elegant, Sargento cheese, because, you know, I don't know why I think they're, like, racist or something, so we have to cover all of those particular boundaries, you know. No, but I seriously like Sargento really? cheese. Really? It's good. It's good. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The flesh. The flesh. Oh, oh man. Mercy inside. Inside. Right here. Right here. Right here. Shut up. Shut up. Get away. Get away. Get away. Oh, oh man. Mercy inside. It's coming. It's coming. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Shut up. Shut up. Oh no. Oh no. I realize this is a mysterious. This is a very German meal. It's like, you know, some beer and cheese. Get away. 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 I'll leave him to his ruminations. Yeah. Lapino, that's spooky. <laughs> yeah, Jack Lapino, yeah, spooky. Left your diary on the table. Mm. I'm not getting the quote right, but I'll take it. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline. Making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. This guy doesn't have any information. So I'm relatively certain he doesn't. At least not that kind, anyways. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. The secret sex tapes. Hold it! It's him. Go get him. No, wait. You go get him. You go and get him.
cold service elevator rumble down to the bowels of Jack Lupino's hotel. Winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area, as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed, and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now, with no end in sight. We've been snowed from the start in the Valkyrie case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. Superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip. Take vampire movies. Why are they always set in LA or Mexico? They can't even get a tan. If I was a blood suck, I'd move to the North Pole. Went this one long night. Yeah, what would you eat? Suck blood from penguins? Nah, Eskimos, man, Eskimos. It's good thing I didn't wear the hat. Fuck! 
Muerte. Rico Muerte. Rico Muerte. Chill with the guns. Trust me, you don't want to piss Muerte off. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Cheers at Green Eyed Angels. Amen. Knuckles. I don't make these like that. Two mad dog killers ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. <laughs> but no. They sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with a kung fu fighting video game. I tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both. The video game tables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. <laughs> Who the hell? It's that cop. Where can I for his gun? Oh. 
racism. It's just, I don't know. It's, for a gun? Sorry. Damn. Should have got back. Caught him down! Caught him down! reception area. Kind of made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines. The blood veins of New York. Right now there was a different set of moans and groans going on.
for now. Um, Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. The bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's suit. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. a slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll stop there. 